please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanted to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you gotta do is use the links in the description if you wanted to get anything I use in this video. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back another awesome video for you. I wanted to show you really quickly how to set up an iPhone 8 once you get it. So the first thing I like to do is right off the bat, you can't see how much battery you have. So the first thing I like to do is I like to go into settings. I scroll down to battery right here and I go to battery percentage and click that on. Now, as you can see, I have 68%. I'm gonna go back to settings. The other thing I like to do is if I'm not using anything, I like to go to Wi-Fi and I just turn Wi-Fi off. I go back into Bluetooth and turn Bluetooth off. If I'm not using them for anything, I don't wanna waste the battery. The next thing I'm gonna do is go down to notifications. Now for all this stuff, I really don't use for the app store. I don't really need notifications. I'm just gonna turn that off. For the calendar, I'm gonna leave that on. For FaceTime, I don't really use that, so I'm gonna turn that off. So for health, I don't really need notifications on that. For home, don't need notifications. For mail, I do obviously, because I wanna know when I get mail. For maps, I don't really need notifications because I'm not using maps. For messages, you want your notification. For music, you don't need that. For photos, you don't really need notifications. For reminders, you wanna leave that on for a reminder. For tips, again, you could turn this off, we don't need this. For TV, we could turn this off, we don't need that. And for wallet, of course, we don't need that unless you're using your phone as a wallet. Um, you could leave the other two on if you want, the Amber and Emergency Alerts, whatever you wanna do. So control Center. Access within apps, customize controls. I like to leave this the way it is from the factory. Uh, if you wanna add anything else, now when you, when you scroll up on the bottom, as you can see, this is your control center. So if you wanted to add anything or take anything off, you could easily do that right there. So as far as your flashlight or your timer, we could move anything around. You could see our flashlight timer uh, calculator camera, which is right here, flashlight timer calculator camera. Uh, if you wanted to add anything to it, accessibility shortcuts, um, notes, screen recording. We're gonna add screen recording. If you ever wanna do that, if you wanna record it, that's gonna give you a new button right here for screen recording. You can click that. And what it'll do is it'll count down from three, two, one, and then it'll record whatever's on the screen. Now, the nice thing about that is you could hold that down like this, and microphone audio, you could turn that on by clicking that. What that'll do is it'll record anything you do on the screen, and it will also record the audio if you're doing like a voiceover and you're trying to explain what you're doing, which is really nice. Stopwatch, it's nice to have that on there. Maybe voice memos, maybe uh, notes if you wanna take a note. So now we're gonna have a screen recording. We're gonna be able to hit our stopwatch if we ever need to do a countdown for something. I like to do this when I'm working out. If I need to work out or run for 10 minutes, I'll set it as this and I'll go to my stopwatch or I'll go to my timer and I'll be able to set it for 10 minutes, which is really great. So, so we'll go back and do not disturb. I always leave that alone for our general. I leave this the way it is, except for background app refresh. I turn that off because I don't want that going on. That uses up a lot of battery. It's keyboard, what I like to do is I'll take my keyboards and I'll get rid of the emoji. I'll edit this and I will get rid of the emoji keyboard because I don't like to use that and it just takes some space and it gets confusing when you're texting or something. So we'll just get rid of all that. So for display and brightness, what I like to do is I'll turn my night shift on, leave it on scheduled from 10 at, 10 at night to seven in the morning. And as you can see, since it's after 10 at night, it's gonna come on manually enable until tomorrow. And you could set the color temperature, uh, less warm or more warm, I leave it the way it is. I just like to leave that on because it saves your eyes at night, gets rid of the blue out of the uh, display. For the auto lock, I like to turn that on five minutes. So what that does is it'll wait five minutes to lock the display and turn the display off without you touching it. And right from the factory, it's set from one minute, which isn't enough time, so I like to set it for five. Raise to wake, uh, I turn that off because sometimes that gets a little bit annoying when you lift the phone up, it turns it on and off for you. You don't always want it to do that. Hold everything else, we'll leave that the way it is. Uh, wallpaper, obviously if you wanted to change your wallpaper, you could choose new. We could do live, and I'll make this my live wallpaper. I'll set this, you could set it for lock screen or home screen. So however you wanna do it. I'm gonna set this for my lock screen. And when I turn the phone off and lock it and then unlock it, this is what's gonna be on my lock screen. And then when I hit this to go home, I still have this as my regular home screen, uh, the background. So what I, if you want, what you could do is, I'll go to stills and I will go down to black and I'll set this for my home screen. So this is my lock screen. And then when I hit the home button, 
My black background is the new home screen background. That's how you do that and that's the difference. Go back, go back to settings, uh, sound and haptics. What I like to do for this is I always turn my ringer all the way up. So if you want your ringer and alerts to be changed with the buttons, you click this. and your buttons on the side control that. I don't want it to do that, so I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna leave that off, and I'm just gonna set this to the loudest. So basically, I have my volume for my ringer set to be the loudest, and if I wanted to turn that off and turn it to vibrate, you just click this, and we have a silent ringer. This becomes vibrate with a silent ringer, and if we want, we turn it back on, and now it rings and it vibrates. So we'll go back into this. Vibrate on ring, vibrate on silent. Change with buttons, no, and then we turn the volume all the way up. You could set the ringtone to whatever you want, obviously. So, very simple to do that. Keyboard clicks, lock sound, system haptics. Leave all that the way it is. Um, as far as Siri and search, I have my Siri turned off. I turn everything off for Siri and just leave it off. Touch ID and passcode, I don't have that set. Emergency SOS uh, call with side button, I don't want it to do that. I don't want it to auto call either. Um, in case it, if I hit it in my pocket by accident, I don't want it to call an emergency number. You know, gives a countdown sound. So what that does is, if you hold the volume down and the, the power button or the lock button, you hold them together for three seconds, it'll go into emergency mode. So what it'll do is, if you need to, you can call an S emergency SOS. You could send out a signal. Privacy. I have location services turned off. Uh, analytics turned off. Advertising. You could turn this on if you want. It's totally up to you. Uh, so iTunes and App Store. You could set all your iTunes uh, settings in here. We could have automatic updates. Use cellular data. Auto video play. You know, all this stuff you could set however you want it. Your wallet, you could set that however you want it. Your mail. One thing I like to do with mail is I like to go down to organize by thread and turn that off. What that means is it'll load every email separately as opposed to putting them together in the thread. In other words, if you get a bunch of emails from one place, it's not gonna put them all in one set of uh, emails. It's gonna keep each one separate whenever you got it by date. Collapse red messages, leave all this, complete threads, leave that the way it is. You go down to Safari and the one big thing I like to change is Siri and search. To turn that off. Uh, search engine suggestions, I leave that on. Safari suggestions, I turn that off. Quick website search, I turn this off. Preload top hit, turn that off because it wastes data. Frequently visited sites, I turn that off. Fraudulent website warning, I turn that off. Uh, camera microphone access, I turn that off. Check for Apple Pay, nope, turn that off. Clear all my data. Save online, advanced. You're going to need this. Experimental features, I turn this off. So that's it for Safari, for news, uh, I turn all this off. For the camera, I like to set 60 frames per second on 1080 on HD. Could do 4K at 60 frames per second, totally up to you. One thing you really should do is you go into cellular and go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, Wi-Fi assist is gonna be on, you wanna turn that off. That's another big thing. The other thing you could do is if you really wanted to, we have a little folder called extras right here. What I like to do is I take all the stuff that I'm not going to be using and I put that into the extras. So what I do is I put all that stuff into the extras and this way I don't have an extra screen here. I just have everything on the one home screen. So whatever else I'm not going to use, like stuff like that, I'm just going to put into the extras and just get rid of it. Just puts everything into the extras so I'm not, I don't have to worry about using it. And then you just hit the home button down here and everything is good. This way we only have one home screen. We don't have a whole bunch of stuff that we're not worrying about, we're not going to use. And just leave it the way it is. This is one of the easiest ways to set up the iPhone, keep everything simple. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you wanted to help support this channel, again, make sure to go into the links down below if you wanted to pick up one of these for yourself. And if you can, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section down below, because I do get back to everybody. Thanks again for watching. Take care.